welcome back to my design channel and in this video we are going to do another continuation with spirals um, so far in the first video we took a look at doing uh, closed spirals with a, one with a closed center and one with an open center but these are both closed spirals as each lap of the spiral touches up against the previous one and therefore it is closed these are open spirals here and that's what we're going to work on today in the second video we took our little uh, flat closed spirals and we made these little conical shaped spirals and we learned how to center the post end over to make a post earring with one and how to center over and do a simple loop here to make a charm so today we're going to try to make some as close to identical as we can get open spirals I'm going to do so on the ends of this copper wire this was my first attempt and on this attempt I used some half hard German artistic wire and I did a pretty good job and I freehanded these I made the initial ring loop together and then I freehanded the rest of it and they came out looking fairly good but not as perfect as I would like them so today I'm going to be working with some dead soft wire I'm going to try the same thing so on this um, wire, I i don't even know what I cut. I think I must have cut about six inches. And then I started some um, open center close spirals on these ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to line them up together. And I'm going to try to create two identical open spirals on the opposite ends. So I've got my two wires and I'm going to line them up. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and if you need to see the materials and tools that we used head back over to the basic flat spiral and you will get all of that information there or you can go over and check out this corresponding post on my website that's going along with all of this wire working basics so now I've got my two wires together I'm going to go ahead and start my two wires I want the same size loop on this end so I'm going to get out my um, multiple step pliers here uh, because basically if I use these pliers one one of my centers is automatically going to be bigger than the other whichever wire is closest to the handle end of these pliers because of the tapered end on the barrel one's going to be bigger to, than the other to start with so we're going to use these ones where the barrel is the same length all the way the whole length of that barrel and I'm going to grab my wires in the pliers just like this I'm going to rub my finger over and make sure I can't feel anything poking up, and so we're good. But I've got a nice, they're in the barrel really good. You can see them in there, and if you turn it this way, you can see that they're down in there really well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and roll my pliers around till I have this nice little horseshoe-looking shape. And then I'm just going to pull them off. So now I have this two little, almost like U-shapes right here and um, they're both exactly the same size so now I'm going to use this end right here where I've got this other little spiral I'm going to hold on to it down here I've got this in my um, put the little small barrel right back in the loop and I made sure that the two loops are on the exact same plane of my pliers here let me zoom out just a little bit you can see that both of the hoops or both of these little loops run on the same plane so that when I hold it like this I can gris grasp this one and you'll see that this hoop is perpendicular or parallel to this one all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling gently and as I roll I'm going to pull my wire just ever so lightly to begin forming a little curve I'm going to open up my pliers and rotate them back and I'm going to continue in the same motion. I want everything to try to remain parallel. I'm going to keep going. While I'm rolling my pliers towards me, I'm pulling this wire up in the opposite direction, away from me, to get a nice little curve started, just like that. So now I'm going to lay that one down. And I'm going to do the same thing with my other one. I'm going to grab my wire back into the pliers just like this and I'm going to twist this wire so that my two hoops are parallel to each other just like that now I could put it back on 
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start rolling gently towards myself with my pliers, and at the same time, I'm going to do a nice little lift with this other end of my wire. It's a little hard to see because my wire is a little bit long. I'm going to open the pliers and rotate them. I'm going to go ahead and come a little bit more. Like that. And then I'm going to see how I'm doing. So this is how you're going to, it's going to be like a little bit of trial and error to get your, um, to get your, both of your components looking exactly the same. So this one's a little bit tighter. So what I need to do is come back a little further on my wire down here and bring this one in. So I've come down a little further and I've pulled this one in pretty close to where they look almost the same. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. If I lay them on top of each other, they're pretty close to being the same. And that's what we want. So now that I have that part done, now comes the tricky part. And it's, it's just a, basically it's a back and forth between your two components until you can get them to look as close to identical as you can get them. So now I'm just going to grab with my uh, flat nose pliers that I put this tape on. It doesn't really matter. They don't have to have tape. I'm using copper. And now I'm just going to hold on to my loop. I'm putting the loop in the center. And I don't have a whole lot uh, hanging out or anything. And I'm just going to bring this wire kind of over the top like that. I'm going to do the same thing with my second one. I'm going to grab on, and I'm going to start bringing this wire over the top. And because my wire is nice and soft, dead soft wire, if I mess up, which I just did, I can bring it back out, and I can make some adjustments. And if you really mess up, you can just bring it all the way out and straighten your wire with your nylon jaw pliers, which I pretty much messed this whole thing up. Now I'm just going to start again with my pliers like I did at the beginning. So let me straighten my wire a little bit with my fingers because it's dead soft. Alright, so now I'm going to start, start again like I did at the beginning. And I'm going to start rolling gently to create my first curve. And I think I need a little bit more. I'm going to rotate my pliers out and come a little more curvy right here. Now I'm going to pick up these pliers. And I am going to start bringing this wire down and around like that. And it is just trial and error, guys. So basically, if you mess up, you may want to cut your wires off and start over. It's up to you. Um, you also can, something that can help you are these half round pliers. Notice here that this one is rounded and this one is flat. So if I need to adjust my curve, I can gently come in with these pliers and just barely pinch along the edge and re reshape my curve a little bit using these half round pliers. I just recently discovered these half round pliers and they're pretty neat for metal working. So what I need to do is just come a little bit more like that. And you can see that I'm still a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my pliers here that I made my initial hoop with. I am going to put these two together side by side hopefully that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try my best to shape them up and make them a little bit more identical using these half round pliers I'm going to put the curved side on the inside of my curve and then we'll bring them around just like that so now you can see that my uh, curves are looking pretty good. And they're looking really a lot more identical. And these little pliers are just a miracle worker. So now I have this really nice curve going on 
on both of my wires. So now I'm going to grab my um, little loop just like this. I'm going to grab the whole loop inside the jaw with just a tiny little bit poking out. You can see right there on that side. Then I'm just going to start bending my wire up and around. But I want to be able to see how much of a gap I'm leaving. And so what I'm doing is I'm leaving just like, um, I'm going to say almost like a between a quarter inch or so of a gap right there between those two wires. Then I'm going to take this out, take my pliers off, I'm going to open them up, and I'm going to bring my pliers back around, and I'm going to keep going. And I want to try to keep that gap relatively the same as I work along. Open my pliers, clamp back down, still leaving just a bare little minimum of that um, center spiral showing so I can see where I'm going. Bring it around till about the same amount, roughly, um, you know, eighth inch, quarter inch, whatever you decide you want to use for your gap space, just like that. And then just keep working, keep rotating and pulling the top wire around just a few millimeters at a time. Open, come back down, bend your wire around till you get and you're going to have to eyeball it because basically that's about the best you can do with it. I found a couple of different videos for how to do these perfect spirals on YouTube. And I got to tell you, I couldn't do either one of them. I do a much better job with the free hand. And then just keep rotating. And now you can see that I've come around to my second, uh, the second ring of my spiral. So now I'm going to adjust my pliers till I'm coming, leaving only a little bit of that second layer poking out. And bring my top wire, or my outer wire, up a little bit. Come over, leave a little bit showing, just a tiny bit. Just enough to gauge, you know, how much space you're leaving between your coils. Like that. Adjust your pliers again. Bring your other wire. And keep doing that gently and slowly until you come around and you have your open spiral as big as you want it. So you would just do the same thing on this um, particular one here. And because I am left-handed, let's see, we're going to go like this. We're going to put a little bit showing. And we're going to start moving our, our other wire. We're going to adjust the pliers and we're going to start moving our other wire. And it's real slow going at first. Just leave a little bit of your center ring showing right there. And bring it around. And then before you get too far, you can check to see how you're doing. You can, um, I guess I'll have to turn it this way to check and see how I'm doing. But here's my two spirals. And so far, I'm doing pretty close to the mark. I could, could come a little tighter on that first round, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to leave a little bit showing. And I'm going to try not to mess my wire up. I'm going to use the natural curve of the wire and I bring it around to about a quarter inch. And I'm going to adjust my pliers and bring it around to about a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to keep working in those small little increments and try to gauge the gap between my uh, spiral layers just like that. And adjust my pliers, work a little bit, open the pliers up, move your center ring in, and just keep working in this manner. Now this one seems to be getting a little tighter than the one before it. So what I might want to do here is I might want to stop and I'm going to grab this spiral with my tape pliers like this. And I'm going to give this wire a little bit of a straighten with my nylon pliers if I need to. I want to get this little kink out here. I'm coming around. I'm trying to make a natural curve in my wire anyhow so that when I come back around, it's not going to give me such a fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over. Straighten my wire out a little bit. 
I'm going to come down and leave that little gap or that little piece poking out. And then I'm going to just gently turn. I'm going to open my pliers and adjust my uh, loop in the middle. And I'm going to gently pull. I am going to adjust my component here in the pliers. And I'm going to gently pull. And like I said, it is basically... This is the only way I've found to do it. Where you can still get a pretty spiral. And they're pretty close. Just keep working along. If you get frustrated, throw your wire out and get a different piece and start over. Um, you can always adjust the center loop out a little bit at the end if your initial roll is too tight. Just keep working at it. And do the best you can. You know, if it were, if I were going to make something out of this, I, at this point, I would throw this one out and start over because I've already adjusted my wire so many times that I'm getting a little bit of a U shape. So rather than trying to straighten this wire and straighten this wire, I'll just get another piece out and start. So I got another piece out and I started my um, center part exactly the same. And now I'm just going to slow myself down a little bit and try to keep this going just like I did on the first one. Just little small increments and remember to move your, move your pliers often. And that's working much better. And so now I'm going to keep going because I want my two to be identical or as close as I can get them to identical. Notice how I keep adjusting my pliers and I'm not making any dramatic uh, pulls with the long end. I'm just taking it nice and slow. Remembering to leave just a little bit of the existing spiral showing out of this side so I can gauge how much of a gap I'm actually leaving in, the, in between my layers. So now I see how we're doing. So now we've got some really beautiful looking spirals. And you know, they're not exactly perfect, but I haven't found any other way to do this that's going to make that one any more perfect than the other. And I've watched like four or five different videos <laughs> on supposed a perfect way of making them perfect every time. And uh, to me... Your, sis your earrings are, sis are not twins. They're um, fraternal sisters, not identical twins. Anyhow, so those are pretty darn good. And that's how I go about doing, those, uh, doing them to where they're as close as you can get them. The trick to it is getting that very center initial loop as close to identical on each wire as you can. And then remembering to leave only a little bit of a gap or not a little bit of a gap, but a little bit of your previous spiral wire showing out of the side of the pliers right here. You can see it in there. And then you can manipulate this wire a little bit more easily to adjust the, you know, the gap between each level of the spiral like that. All right, guys, so that is it for these beautiful open spirals. I hope you have a lot of fun with this technique. Remember to take your time, practice with some cheap wire, um, and make sure you're using dead soft wire for these uh, for this type of project. Trying to use the half hard artistic wires is really really hard. Uh, it gives you trouble every single time. 
Dead Soft Wires. You can find Dead Soft Wire over at um, these artistic wires. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Michael's. You used to go get them at AC Moore, but AC Moore is no longer with us. All right, that's it, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed these three types of spirals. And in my next video, we're going to come back and talk about doing coils. All right, thanks for watching. Head over to my website. Check out some of my other tutorials. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and have a great day.